What's going on guys, Brown Sim Men's Comics, back once again to give you my picks for comic books that are heading final order cutoff this coming Monday night, March 15th. Get those pre-orders in, guarantee yourself a copy whether you do it at your LCS or you do it online. Always preach about final order cutoff, that way you guarantee yourself a copy so you don't go chasing them on release day like we've been seeing recently with some hot, hot releases. And real quick before I get into my picks. I do want to give a big congratulations to guests that have been on this channel multiple times, talking about David Boer, Drew Zucker, the creative team behind Canto, been talking about that book a lot. Congratulations are due for them because that book, Canto, just got picked up for an animated feature from Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith's production company. So congratulations to David Boer, Drew Zucker, lot, a lot. A lot of comic book fans are truly happy. Seven seasons in a movie, but we didn't get through those seven full seasons now, did we? The movie is coming. But with that being said, I'm going to get into my picks. Another kind of light week this week, but there are some great titles in there. We have some stories wrapping up, which is great to see as well. Because people have been wondering what's going to happen. Well, we're getting the finales to some of those. We're going to get into it right now. Starting with, this is like a twofer. I'm going to go with Marvel and IDW plug and play pick right here when these come out it's usually a pickup but we get that star wars high republic number four from marvel that one's coming out a lot of people have been picking those up i have been seeing them stay on the store shelves a little bit longer of course yardage may vary my lcs and my geographic location might be different from yours let me know in the comments are you guys still seeing those high republic issues on shelves longer than you used to i know we're getting additional printing so i think that's having some of that effect but i still say as much as I love that Marvel's High Republic, I love the IDW High Republic Adventures more. I like the story better. And that's just my opinion. So pick up which one you guys like. But issues number four for Marvel and issue number three for IDW. Head FOC this coming Monday night. Also from Marvel, we get Avengers number 44. This brings us to the finale of that Phoenix storyline. There's some great covers for this. One that might catch a lot of people's attention, of course, is there is that Peach Momoko variant. A lot of people do love Peach Momoko. I've been vocal on this channel where some covers I like, some covers I don't like. I do like this one, though, so that's the one I'll be pre-ordered. Jason Aaron, one of my favorite writers. Been loving this story arc for sure. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is one of the finales that we see wrap up. We see who's going to yield that awesome cosmic power. Of the phoenix force now the storyline we're getting wrapped up for marvel this foc is king and black with king and black number five this has been probably one of donny kate's best work i haven't heard too many people comment that they haven't liked this storyline i will admit i haven't read every single tie-in there's so many times for this this is one of those that i'd like to pick up when it comes out into that big hardcover edition maybe that omnibus style that includes all the tie-ins the whole story I'd like to revisit at that point but king and black is ending this foc with issue number five there are a bunch of different covers for it, so make sure you pick them all up, Pokemon style, or pick the one you like and order that one. And from Boom, the news went out not too long ago that they did pick up the license and hit an FOC this coming Monday. We get Magic the Gathering number one. I have had a chance to read an advanced PDF copy. Love, love, love the first issue. And I will tell you, I don't know a darn thing about Magic the Gathering didn't collect the cards, didn't play the game, whatever you want to call it. That's how ignorant I am to Magic the Gathering, but I did love the first issue for this. There's multiple covers for it, and they have what they call the Magic Pack. It's a limited edition collection set of Magic Number no. 1 covers, where you get an exclusive by Mirka and Dolfo, along with that main cover by Matea Scalera, and a randomly inserted Planeswalker variant. Now, with it being random, if you like some of those Planeswalker variants yourself, Make sure you order those, get yours in. That's the point of this video, but you also have this option for that magic pack, and that usually retails right now. It looks like for $39.99. Getting over to IDW, we get that Lock and Key Sandman Hell and Gone number one. This is a series that the release got pushed back a little bit, but it's here hitting FOC issue number one coming out from IDW. I've heard that issue number two will actually be distributed by DC Comics. I don't know how true that is or not, but we got two great comic franchises coming together. Great crossover. Lock and Key, hell of a series. Love that Sandman. We also got that Sandman Netflix series coming, but here we got Hell and Gone number one. And don't forget, check out Friends of the Channel, the 616 Comics. 
they have that exclusive reign up there by kick-ass artist Megan Hutchinson. And over to DC Comics, one of my favorite superheroes. I am huge fans, I've said it before, of Thor and Green Lantern. And we get a new Green Lantern with Green Lantern number one coming from DC Comics. Love that 12-issue series that they just wrapped up from Grant Morrison and Liam Sharp. Here we got a new one. This series is actually looks to concentrate on Jon Stewart. Love me some Jon Stewart. I love all the Green Lanterns. Hal Jordan, Guy Gardner, Jon Stewart, Jessica Cruz, Simon Baz. Green Lantern, I don't pick favorites. Hal Jordan. But either way, new series from DC Comics. Hit the FOC. Now remember, DC Comics usually FOCs a day earlier sometimes more. So make sure you check when that deadline is from whoever you're ordering for and get that order in on time. So we're going to talk about another DC comic that has a second print coming out. And they finally did something great and changed the cover up for it. But we're going to get to that towards the end of this video. But right now it's time to get into the indie showcase portion. That's right. This is brought to you by Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. Remember all the books I talk about in this video, you can pre-order from Black Cape Comics as well as a bunch of other books that I didn't find on the off. These are just my favorite picks. Couldn't go through the whole FOC, but a lot of them they have listed up there at blackcapecomics.com. So check them out. Get a little discount for that pre-order. But getting into the indie showcase this week, we got a bunch of image and some boom, starting with Noctera number two. Noctera is that, that creator owned series by Scott Snyder. Issue number one is very well received. A lot of fans are loving this issue. We got issue two hitting final order cutoff, but not only that, we also have an additional printing that we're gonna talk about again towards the end of this video. Let me know in the comments. Did you read Noctera number one? What did you think? We also got another great creator who's known for those big two titles. Moving over to Image with his creator owned and we are talking about Geiger number one. When I say creator, I actually should have said creators because that's right, we get Jeff Johns and Gary Frank with this series. It's another post-apocalyptic tale. Here we are after nuclear wasteland and out past that poison wasteland lives one person that even the nightcrawlers and organ people fear. Some people call him Joe Glow. Others call him the Meltdown Man, but his name is Geiger. Now, when I first looked at this, yes, it makes sense. Geiger, Geiger counter. But I thought of Camp Geiger. If there's any East Coast Marines that are watching this video, they might know what I'm talking about with Camp Geiger. But either way, moving on into the showcase, we got another book. But I will also say with Geiger, old school Marines from there can also say another word, Driftwood. And I'll leave it at that. But back to the showcase with Image Comics. We also get a horror anthology series. Yes, talked about Ha Ha, talked about Ice Cream Man, but here we have a limited anthology series with a bunch of great creators, including Chip Zdarsky and Silver Coin number one. Now when I say great creators, yes, Chip Zdarsky's right in this first issue, but you got other creators such as Ed Brisson, Kelly Thompson, Jeff Lemire, and artists like Michael Walsh. Michael Walsh is doing the art on this first issue. And each issue is going to have its own self-contained horror story. Issue one starts with a rock band back in 1978 that's down on its luck. But of course that luck changes when they find one silver coin. There's some great covers for this one. But either way, horror, especially anthology series, especially with Image Comics, has been really, really great. So I'm definitely picking this one up. I haven't figured out if I'm going to order all the covers or just at least that cover A right now. But I have a day or two to figure that out and get my order in. And if you're looking at this series yourself, let me know in the comments, what cover are you picking up or are you plan to pick up all of them as well? Also from Boom Studios, we're getting many deaths of Layla Star number one. There's another one that I was actually able to get an advanced PDF copy for, written by Ram V. You guys might know him if you've read these Savage Shorts from Vault, you know about him. He's also written a bunch of one-offs. He's also one-offs as well as some series for DC Comics. But here's a book that they recommend if you're a fan of Wicked and Divine from Image and The Dreaming. This is one you might like. And here we get humanity on the verge of discovering immortality. The avatar of death is fired and sent to live its last remaining finite days on Earth in the body of Layla Star. But Layla has found a way to put herself in the time and place where the creator of immortality will be born. Fans of David Mack, there's a David Mack foil variant as well as an incentive one in 100 variant for this. And like I said, if you are a fan of Ram V, make sure you 
you get your order in. And that wraps up the Indie Showcase portion. But like I always do at the end of this video, we do have a few additional printings hitting Final Order Cutoff as well. From Marvel, Avengers number 43 is getting a second print. We get that Demon Days X-Men number one also getting a second print. Berserker, that big Keanu Reeves, but Matt Kent. Do not forget Matt Kent. Awesome, awesome writer. Last week was Matt Kent Day. He had three series hit release on store shelves and every one of them was great. Love me some Matt Kent, but Berserker number one is getting a second print and has a great Garney cover. I like, I liked cover A, but the second print cover is even better. And lastly from DC, talked about this earlier in the video, Batman number 106, that big, big issue that everyone was talking about. James Tynan crushing that run and continues to do so. We get 106 getting a second print and it looks to have new cover art. So I'm super excited about that. But there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comics that are heading final order cut off this Monday night, March 15th. Earlier, if you're DC Comics. Let me know in the comments what books you guys are picking up. With that being said, guys, this is Brown with Comics. I'll see you in the next video.